so I've been asked by one of my subscribers to do a video on the snorkel pressure tube that I've got going into my trailer uh, it's quite simple really and you can get pressure vents and put them onto uh, canopies and they do a great job of keeping dust out but that wasn't going to work for for this setup so what I've got here is on on the opposite side you can see that I've got a um, like a bathroom fitting it's just a PVC one so it's a square fitting with a round hole comes through and a 90 mil PVC pipe goes onto it so I've got this section out here so that uh, it clears the actual rooftop tent so this here is 90 mil PVC uh, it's painted I don't know whether you can get it in black but yeah, I couldn't be bothered so then it's got a 90 degree bend on it um, then there's a little piece there then there's a 15 degree bend on that and that clears it with a straight piece up there then I've got a 45 degree bend on it there and then I've just got a snorkel on it so that's just a plain old snorkel that you can buy at uh, BCF maybe super cheap I got mine online so nothing special about it um, it comes blank but I was able to um, put that piece of foam in it so there's a little piece I just cut, made a little piece of uh, wire mesh that goes in behind the foam and then uh, just put that in there that filters it a bit so and the other thing I've got is you probably can't see it but underneath here there it is there I've got a little slot in it and just after it I've got um, a half a baffle in there now the idea is that if water comes down through there it will go along there and then it'll come out that, that bottom part doesn't work real well though I still get water in the trailer but uh, it's not a great puddle uh, and it's not a problem because uh, most of my stuff is off the off the floor so I suppose the big question is does it work well yes it does I still get dirt in my trailer but that's transferred from uh, me putting my chair in um, my stove in all that kind of stuff so I've got to vacuum it out but I've, I don't get I get a little bit of dust but not a lot compared to this being in the um, mainstream or straight behind the car it should get a lot in it I used to have that part there um, flayed out and it was facing forward um, but that wasn't getting enough air into it I also had a problem with this when I had it on um, behind my Mazda CX-5 um, I didn't get enough air in it but now with the Colorado I'm getting heaps of air into it so anyway yeah that's just a quick description of of that pressure vent so um, if you like these kind of videos um, I don't do how-to videos but this is just a how it works um, consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next one